The old man walked down the street. The day had been one of his worst. He had lost his home to his son and daughter-in-law, who had thrown him out of the household, believing him to be dead weight. The winter was one of the coldest the town had faced, and unable to cope from the immense cold, his cattle had all frozen to death. Apart from the two rupees he had in his pocket, the old man had nothing to eat, nowhere to live, and nowhere to go. His humble attire of a torn jacket and a pair of trousers did very little to protect him from the freezing cold. As he slowly walked beside the array of shops that lined the two sides of the hilly road, he couldn't help but shudder at the immense cold of the mountains that was now prickling every cell of his body. The sun had just set behind the mountains, and darkness was slowly creeping into the valley. As dusk was arriving, the crowd in the shops had multiplied. People chatted away at the village hall, talking about their lives. Some of them raised their hands, calling the old man over to gossip with them. But the old man was in no mood to gossip. He turned away with a simple smile and continued walking. Across the village hall, walking towards the village boundary. By the time he reached the forest on the boundaries of the village, the darkness of the night had already permeated into the village grounds. The night was pressing on his entire body. Quoting him in a suffocating silence, the old man walked straight up to the forest line. Sighing deeply, he looked up towards the stars and then sat down against an oak tree. He looked up again towards the sky, the stars, the constellations floating about in the endless abyss of the universe. They all seemed so grand, so majestic, so vibrant, unlike him. The deep agony within his soul only matched the endless darkness of the universe. He felt numb, painless. His heart, which should have been torn to splits due to the extreme agony, was still intact. It was almost like he had experienced so much pain that he was beyond pain itself. But this was momentary. Soon, tears drizzled from his eyes. A frightful shivering overtook him as the pain. Agony grasped him firmly. The tears moistened his cheeks, flowing down his face and raining down on the cold earth beneath. With a desperate cry, he flung himself on the cold brown earth, rubbing his face in the soil. His agony continued for half an hour. After which, with great vexation, he controlled himself. Leaning against the oak tree, the old man looked up once more towards the endless sky. A cloud had drifted into his vision from nowhere, blocking the magnificent stars. The old man sighed again. Just like his house, the stars in the night sky had also been stolen from him. He placed his head on the coarse bark and closed his eyes. The chirping of the night insects floated to his ears. Others would have been irritated by these mindless sounds. But the old man had learned to cherish it all, everything he had, everything he experienced. The cold had grown much tolerable by now. The old man knew that this oak tree was his last shelter. He seemed to recall his younger days, his ancestral home in the meadows, the green, lush fields where he played all day, running around and rejoicing in the sea of grass. He wished to return, even if just once, to this paradise.